First, though, an update on this breaking news. Three firefighters, as I mentioned at the top of the half hour, recovering after being hurt while putting out that fire. That fire started a little after one this morning at an apartment complex in the Castleton Square area. Our Matt McCutcheon, he is live at the scene with what he's learned this morning. Matt? Good morning. We're talking about the water side at Castleton Apartments located just off of 82nd Street and I-69. Within the past 10 minutes, you can see that we actually have crews who have arrived with a lot of boards right there, a lot of netting as well. What they're going to do now that the fire department has left the scene here is secure, putting those boards all over the different broken windows and things. That way, no one can go in and steal anything, all while the determination is made about if this building will, in fact, come down. We do know that there has been significant damage here from this fire. In fact, I want to bring in the video really showing you, really giving you an idea of the huge flames shooting out of this complex overnight. We know that there are 16 units in this one particular building that have that damage, either from smoke, water, or fire. That's forced 24 people from their apartments. The good news is none of them were heard, and it really came down to neighbors helping neighbors, which really made all the difference. We were trying to, you know, get people to come outside, you know. Trying to get people's attention, so we got in our cars. Somebody's calling 911, obviously, but we got in our cars. We're trying to honk, get people's attention, so they would look outside. When they did, you know, we're trying to wave them out. There's a fire. There's a fire. That made all the difference getting everyone out safely. Also, a lot of calls to 911 because those huge flames could be seen from the interstate. Firefighters say at this time it is still too soon to tell what exactly started this fire. We're also learning this morning that two pets, two dogs that were lost in this fire have since been reunited with their owners. So there is a bit of a happy ending here. Again, as crews now work to determine what's next here for this building and where those residents will stay coming up tonight. Ben and Julia. All right, yeah, tough start to the morning, but glad everyone's going to be okay. Thanks, Matt. Yeah,